am finally live. You guys have sent me some millions of DMs that Pooja, please come live. Please come live. We want to talk to you. So here I am. Your wish is my command. I am exhausted. I've hardly slept the whole of last night because I was like packing and chatting with all my Instagram family. And I left early in the morning from Pune to Mumbai and I got late. The first show that I was supposed to be attending today at the Bombay Times Fashion Week was this lovely girl's show called Riddhi Jen. So it was her first fashion show and her PRO and her team had been, you know, con consistently, persistently uh, messaging me in Pona that we want you to come for our show. We want you to be a front row spectator and give your constructive feedback. But because of the humongous fight that I had with my mother this morning, I missed Riddhi's show. I got late. But whatever. <laughs> I'm finally here. I'm finally, you know, doing the things I want to do. So I'm happy, but I'm a bit tired, quite exhausted because I've slept for two hours last night. That's it. So I'm going to finish this live, I'm going to shoot a reel and I'm going to just sleep and uh, get up late tomorrow because, you know, I need to give myself some rest and beauty sleep too. Okay, now let me quickly read all your messages. Four, 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 Haneen says, finally. What is this? Priz lovers says you and me are the same. Oh my God, Queen, get your beauty sleep says this is hero. Cute intestine says tell auntie to chill. Well, I can't tell her to chill because she literally cages me, imprisons me, treats me like a freaking teenager. So it's like really difficult, you know, to get out of her grips and escape. Like this morning, I had a huge fight with my mother. I just walked out. I just took my trolley and my bag and I just barged out of my front door in Pune. I said, to hell with everything. I'm getting late. And it was at around 6.30 in the morning today. So I had a huge fight with her. And then uh, eventually she called me in the evening when I was at the BTFW and she seemed fine and I seemed fine. So we kind of made up. But yes, she is extremely controlling and, uh, you know, she's just like gets too much, just too much to tolerate at times. Arman says, beautiful necklace. So happy you like. It's pearls and emeralds. It's from Amritpali. Okay. Zahra Hanuz says, love from Sweden, Pooja. You're an icon. Oh, thank you, darling. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Lots of love to you. Ok Hissinath says, love your look for the night. Thank you. So I decided to go a little smoky with my eyes. So as you can see, I've gone like really dark and smoky at the corners and defined my eyes really well. And I love this more and gone really nude with my lips. So I'm so glad you like my makeup. I thought I should do something different. I'm forever sporting red lips and nude eyes. The Marilyn Monroe look. I love it. And it suits me so much. So I thought I'll do something different today. Let me go darker on the corners of my eyes. Make it more smoky and go nude with my lips. And I'm so glad that it turned out fine and you guys are loving it. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you like.
Your makeup looks flawless, says this is hero. Thank you, darling. Joshi Hitesh says you're very down to earth person. That I am, that I am. But you know, I just feel that my uh, well intentioned nature is taken for granted many times. And that's when I feel really hurt because I'm also a very sensitive person. I'm like overtly sensitive. Okay, guys. So when people, you know, try to take somebody's good nature for granted, it's, it, it, it hurts that much harder. So I have to like kind of really shield myself, really safeguard myself to make sure that, you know, I don't get hurt. Dikusi says you look like a goth queen. I don't really look like a goth queen, but yeah, the smoky corners are kind of goth. And so is the mole. It's kind of goth. It's kind of nice. Somebody gave me such a beautiful comment today. They said that your mole reminds us of Elizabeth in um, uh, Cleopatra. So I said, okay, fine. That's like, that's sweet. Thank you. Ramit Tyagi from Germany, my dear, dear, sweet friend who's requested a cameo from me on his birthday. And I love him because he's a student and he's away from his family and he's studying in Germany and he's giving it all he's got. So lots of blessings to you, little one. He says that you should be a model for Versace. Yes, actually I should be, you know. So I've been close to modeling for Versace. I modeled for Jean Paul Gaultier in Singapore. I did a fashion show for them. So that was pretty close because I know Versace is like world renowned. But Jean Paul Gaultier is also pretty world renowned. So I've been close to that. And here's keeping our fingers crossed that I do land up collaborating with Versace at some point in time. Rashmi Mudra says you're adorable. Why is she after me? Sahaj says your date is pending. Oh, you can keep on wishing. So, you know, when my mom was out of town, remember I was dying, itching, and like literally wanting to go out every night. So, uh, me and Sahaj were supposed to be going out. Uh, <laughs> my friend Jarnail has got a very interesting name for Sahaj. He calls Sahaj Nail Gulabo Sapera. <laughs> because Sahaj has got all these tattoos like Gulabo Sapera. Right? <laughs> but it never worked out. So Sahaj lost his nana the day we were supposed to be going out. So after that, I'm sorry. I don't go out. Okay guys, I don't go out. I'm literally imprisoned and jailed at home. So if one blue moon night I decide to go out and you're going to stand me up for whatever reasons, after that I will think a hundred times before making any plans with you. Simply being 15 says, Pooja, why don't you shift to Mumbai? Well, that's because my mother won't let me. My mother won't let me. And also, as you know, I have an apartment, a family apartment in Mumbai where I can stay. But uh, they have uh, used political clout to ban me from my own apartment. And for how long will I keep on, you know, uh, pissing out money on hotels? I've been extorted of crores, extorted of crores since 2014 ever since they used their political clout to ban me from my own apartment i spent crores on hotels in mumbai because i refused to give up and i used to come from pune and stay in hotels 
and you know it's like it's such a waste if you go to sea because if I have to permanently stay in Mumbai which I think I should because in Pune I'm just wasting my life there's nothing in Pune it's a sedentary city okay nothing really happens there it's a it's a city which one can compare to Florida you know because it's a city for the retired and it's a city for the students the retired and the students are predominantly you know the majority of Pune you know so it's it's like I should I know I should shift to Mumbai but I need support I need support I need somebody to help me you know get a safe accommodation in Mumbai where I can stay peacefully do my work you know go for events have friends party a little not live a jailed life the way I live in Pune right so I'm just hoping fingers crossed that I can hopefully get some support and shift back to Mumbai because this is where it's at and I'm a Mumbai girl I've gone to school at Cathedral and John Cannon sports girl of the year if you may please um, HR college Miss HR beauty pageant winner so I'm a Mumbaiite I've gone to school here I've gone to college here and just because some politicians are insecure of me being an integral part of Bollywood they have used their political clout and banned me from my own apartment and literally you know made me made me um, you know not stay in my own city like they say in Hindi tadi par bana diya mujhe apni insecurities ki wajay se Okay, there's so many comments. My God, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. Okay, let me just see. Simply being 15 says you should be returned your home in Mumbai. It's really unfair that you, what you have to go through. Exactly. It's like it's my city. I've schooled here. I've colleged here. I've spent the majority of my life here. And I can't stay here because a politician is insecure and is using his clout to ban me from my own house. Because he used to live upstairs with his tantric and what not. So for how long am I going to be made a sacrificial lamb to cover his ass? I'm tired. I'm tired of your games. Just let me be. Literally, get off my back. Got it? Come to Ahmedabad, we'll go for Garba. I'd come to Ahmedabad once. That invited me for an event. And I'd come to Ahmedabad and I'd done Garba and Dandia. And it was amazing. There was so much of crowd. My God, I think there were like, I don't know, 20,000 people in that stadium. And I was on the stage and I was talking and everybody was like, ah, wah, wah, wah. they were going crazy and berserk. And, uh, you know, um, they were like very responsive to all that I was saying. So Ahmedabad is amazing for Garba and Dandia. And I've been there. I've been invited there. So, yeah, I know. I would love to come back, you know, sometime if my mother allows me and uh, if a legit proposal comes through. Come to Bangalore. I've been to 
to Bangalore. I'd come to Bangalore to um, anchor an event. It was an event for confederation of Indian apparel exporters, which is this uh, union, right? So that called me and I'd anchored the whole event and the awards and everything. And Bangalore was amazing. I still remember I got back some souvenirs. I got back sandalwood oil and I got back this beautiful sari for my mother because uh, that's what it's famous for. And I did have some South Indian cuisine while I was there. So Bangalore is beautiful. The roads and the whole infrastructure is very nice. Simply being 15 says, Pooja the politician is very shrewd. He knows that if you shift to Mumbai, his days are numbered. What can I say? For how long will I be made a sacrificial lamb to hide other people's sins? You have sinned. And if you're going to like literally bottle me up in Pune, one day or another, your Pandora's box is going to like, you know, burst open and all your felony and all the shit that you've done is going to come pouring out. So let karma take its course, man. What else can I say? Why don't you rent another apartment till they leave or something? Because I'm not financially sound right now and my family is not supporting me. And I need to, you know, probably get a couple of assignments, earn some good amount of money, which gives me security to pay deposit and an year's rent and move in comfortably into Mumbai. Because even when I was living in Mumbai, do you know what they used to do to me? They used to stalk me. They used to literally stalk me, hack me, harass me. At four in the morning, they used to come and ring my bell. You know, they used to order food. I, I, I still remember when I used to live in Windsor. One afternoon, the bell rang and I went to the door. And there were like some 7 to 10 pizzas, garlic breads and a fuckload of food. So I said, what's this? They said, you've ordered it. We just got an order from a Pooja Mishra from 401 Windsor for all this food. I said, I never ordered it. I don't eat pizzas. I'm like calorie conscious. I have it once in a blue moon on a, you know, cheat day. I don't eat so much of food and I live alone. How can I order so much of food? So they used to order food on my name and make me pay for it. Harass me. Harass me to the core. Why? Because I was living alone. So this is what you get if you are a strong girl with a spine trying to fend for yourself in a city like Mumbai, which is my city. I'm a Mumbai cut. I'm a Mumbai cut. My, you know, after England, where I did my junior school in Manchester, I came to Mumbai. My formative years after England have been in Mumbai. You cannot literally pluck me out of my city. And that's what they've been doing. It's been like since 2014 they're doing this, yeah? It's been so many years. We need to put an end to this so that even I can live in Mumbai, live my life, you know, meet people, go for events, feel happy, party. Because in Pune, my mother doesn't let me go out. She just won't let me go out. It's like too stifling and too suffocating, you know? So I just hope that uh, I get a couple of good people who support me to, you know, find myself a safe apartment in Mumbai so that I can shift back and live my life the way I should be. For how long am I going to like, you know, keep on asking for consent? May I? Can I? I mean, like, what the fuck? It's my life.
Let me live it. Yes, please, this politician needs to get off Pooja's back. You said it, darling. Pooja, love you here in Ahmedabad. Pooja, talk about woot and colors. They used your clip for Big Boss 16 promotions and did not invite you. Well, what can I say? I'm really grateful. Thank you. I'm honored. I'm touched and I'm filled with gratitude that you used my viral clip for the promotions of Big Boss 16 on colors and on wood. You use my dialogues and a couple of quotes too. So thank you that uh, you liked my work. And uh, as far as them calling me back on the show, you know how it is. It's this politician who's standing there like a mountain. Do you know what they're doing? I just got to know of this. And when I got to know of this, I almost fainted. I just couldn't stand. I just like, you know, I, 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 I was literally, my head was reeling and I fell down in my living room in Pune when my friend from Paris spoke to somebody in Endemol on a conference call. Okay. So when he spoke to this person, he said that, no, we are never going to call Pooja Mishra back. Endemol executives do not like Pooja Mishra. Colors executives do not like Pooja Mishra. So we are going to create a replica, a duplicate of Pooja Mishra, who's going to come on Big Boss 16 and say her dialogues and kick a dustbin and break a broom. But we will not call Pooja Mishra. Now please tell me guys, I have apologized a trillion times, a trillion times to them. Okay. That I'm sorry, I was not in my senses, I was under the influence of black magic, I did not know what I was doing. And yet, if, if this is the feedback that I'm getting, I, I just feel devastated. I just feel this is a dead end. There's no road further than this. There's nothing more that I can do. Right? There's nothing more that I can do besides apologize and expect you to show some grace, some class and some maturity. Right? So then I got to know that they are literally, they've got a girl, signed her on contract for Big Boss 16. She's being trained. They are making her watch Big Boss 5. They are making her watch Pooja Mishra's old Big Boss clips and they're training her to imbibe my qualities, okay, of being very straightforward, of being a lone fighter. You know how I am. I fight my battles alone. I never look for clout. I'm not a clout chaser, right? So they're literally training her to absorb all these qualities of mine so that she can be Pooja Mishra's replica. Now please tell me, no Bollywood actor and no production house as per se and no colors channel also can get so crafty, so conniving and, and get so conspiring Against a harmless soul like me. I want to know who have I harmed. Besides my own self. I mean self-destructive. Who have I harmed? Nobody. So this is the job of a politician. It's these politicians who are so crafty. Who are so conniving. Who are so scheming. Who are so conspiring. Okay. It's all politics. Normal production houses and Colors Channel and Salman Khan don't have time to sit and bloody plan and plot so much against a harmless soul like Pooja Mishra. It's the same politician 
who has usurped my Vinsa apartment, who has wrecked my life, who's stopping Endemol Colors and Salman Khan from calling me back on Big Boss. And I'm done with it. I can't, I, I'm done. I can't do any more. I don't want to say anything more. The truth is out in front of everybody. Now I leave it on the better judgment of the Big Boss team to take a decision. That's it. I'll leave it there. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm done. Your smile is lovely. Thank you. Okay. Pooja, we want you in Mumbai, says the crimson sky. I want to be in Mumbai too, so that I can live my life. For Christ's sake, I live in my mother's dictatorship in Pune. I want to run away and that's what I did this morning. I just barged out of the front door with my trolley. I said, bye-bye, I'm going. So I just want to run away from Pune, you know. I really do want to come back to Mumbai. And let's just hope that a miracle happens. And I do because they're just wasting my life. And you know, there's one thing about life. You can get back all the money you've lost. You can get back all the love you've lost. But one thing you can never get back is time. So, you know, value time. Time is precious. And they're just wasting my time. As you can see. Mahesh says, are you in love? No, I'm not in love. But yes, I have my infatuations. And that's okay. I'm a human being. And please, it's with men. Huh? I'm bloody well a heterosexual. And uh, yes, I have my infatuations. And uh, whether they are enforced onto me or whether I feel them. The truth be damned. I, I'm a human being. So yeah. Big Boss fan 2011, that's my darling friend Harris from Canada, who's like a little brother to me. So I've got two little brothers. I've got one little brother called Arman from Pakistan and I've got one little brother called Harris from Canada. Okay, both of these I chat with almost every day and they are an integral part of my Instagram family. So he's always telling me to take care of myself, to sleep, to not, you know, get carried away in my emotions for certain people. So Harris says that your new life has just started. Big kiss to you, sweetheart. I hope what you say is true and I can literally start a fresh page and a new chapter in my life. <laughs> Samrat says, Pooja, you're not a kid. Ask your mother to get off your back. Well, you know, she's not really 16. She's elderly. I have to respect her for her age. So I do tell her to get off my back. Like I told her in the morning, get off my back. And I barged out of the house. I said, fuck off. I'm leaving for Bombay. Right? So, um... I do tell her that once in a while, but you know, she's not 16 and I do respect her because she's a very hardworking lady. Even at this age, she takes care of the entire bungalow, the house, supervises everything from the gardener to the driver to the buy to everything, you know. So she's a very hardworking lady. And I cannot be rude to her because she's my mother and I do love her. But yeah, she's very controlling and she's very like, you know, she, she, she kind of traps me a lot. So um, I do tell her to get off my back politely every now and then. But I can't do it too often because that's too rude and I do love her because she's my mother.
so as you saw, we were deep in conversation, discussing some major issues in my life. And uh, the life just froze and got deleted. Just because I was calling out the perpetrators, I was calling out the people who need to be called out and taken to the cleaners. So they just froze and deleted my uh, life. Like that's going to stop me. I'm going to keep on, keep on going on because... A change is only initiated when you speak up and I totally need to speak up right guys so I'm back again let me quickly read your comments and we're going to get back to discussing a lot of topics which we did in the previous live we're going to repeat it in this live so that we have it on record okay Arman says queen, Arman says sinners, Pris lovers, 33 says I'm too drunk for this life. Then you can please go and sleep. Cute intestine says your life froze because you have an old phone to be honest. No, I don't have an old phone. I have a phone which I reformat every one month because they keep on hacking it through apps they make me download apps and through those apps they hack into my phone so i keep on reformatting my phone and if my phone is so old why don't you give me an iphone 14 that would be more like it right rather than sitting there scoffing at my sorry situation learn to do something positive about it right get out of here Pooja, did they hack your phone again? I don't know. I keep on reformatting my phone every one month. But, you know, through the apps that I download, they keep on hacking into my system. So I have to be really careful because, I mean, they've been doing this forever. They've hacked me to death. They have stalked me to death. They have conspired and, you know, assassinated my character to death. There's a limit. There's a limit to everything, right? And you need to call them out to set those boundaries and limits. And I'm doing just that in this life. Yeah, nothing stops you, says Privilers333. Vilma Boxic is saying, who's this? Well, I believe you're the one who's been sucking on my old lives, which I did five years back when I was going through a complete emotional meltdown. And you guys are making clips about it and putting it on Instagram and splashing it all over YouTube as though it's recent. You can do what the hell you all want to. That's not who I am anymore. Okay? And you can write that down. I'm not that person anymore. And no matter how much you splash those old lives, I'm not going to become that person either. You're just wasting your time. Billy Stan says, keep slaying. My love, my queen. The love of my life. Samrat. Pooja, nobody can stop you. Yeah, if I, if I listen to the voice inside me, and that voice says that, Pooja, you're not going to stop. And not so late in the game. I've invested how many years of my life in this profession, guys? I've been modeling from, from the age of 16. How many years have I invested in this profession? How much of money have I invested in this profession? And how much of money have I been extorted and looted off by the politician and his family? And of course, even the smuggler and his family. Both have extorted and looted me. They saw a rich, generous, good-natured girl. And they said, Wah! Hamari to lottery lag gai bhai. Sundar bhi hai. 
पैसे भी हैं जेनरस भी है बस और क्या चाहिए एंड दे लूट इन मी लिटरली मेड मी बैक ड्राफ्ट Samrat says you're a lion against those sheep. Thank you, sweetheart. Dev Pratap Singh says so desperate these sinners are. Yeah, they are. They are like really scared to be exposed. You know, they don't like my lives, and I don't like to take their names. I'm not going to take their names. I'm not going to give them attention. I'm not going to give them validation. I'm not going to give them free publicity. Okay. Period. Pooja, who funds your troll accounts? Is the politician's family who funds the troll accounts, as well as the smuggler's family? Is the smuggler and the politician together doing this? Shilpa Parulekar says, first they pin the trolls' comments, made it pause for a good time. so that everyone can watch and make fun of you and then they deleted the exposing lie yeah i know i know they did that so i'm going to talk about the same things i'm going to repeat it again so that we have it on record on my instagram timeline right so that if somebody wants to know what is pooja mishra going through they can go through the lie i'm going to put it on record i'm going to talk about my house at windsor the harassment i faced because i was living alone and i wanted to etch out a niche for myself in the entertainment industry i'm going to talk about colors and the mall and uh, salman khan how they are being manipulated i'm going to talk about everything right now all over again so get ready guys we're going to go for a rerun here Simply being fifteen says, "Can you see how they are attacking you? Cause you're outing the truth." Yeah. Cute understand says, "Don't download apps." Do you know how difficult it is to survive without apps, without PTM, without Instagram? You know, all these apps are like really mandatory to have on your phone, right? How do you survive without them? Nota Voyer says, "Ye sab Poonam Sena karti hai hacking and all." Or ye Timmy Narang bhi karta hai. Maine Timmy Narang ko apni aankhon se dekha hai. J W Marriott ke bahar, meri call apne phone se sun raha tha wo, aur usne meri call apne phone se kati. So basically, his phone was the parent phone, and my phone was the child's phone. You could say the hacked. phone he was listening to my conversation he was cutting my calls from his phone so please understand the politician and the smuggler are hand in glove okay they are hand in glove ye ek hi thali ke chatte batte hain like this say in hindi Simply being fifteen says, "Pooja, even they know you deserve a good Netflix series when unworthy nepo kids are getting Sanjay Leela Bansali web shows. Of course, they know that. Why do you think they don't let me live in Mumbai? Okay, so let's open the chapter about Windsor Towers. So back in two thousand and fourteen, when I was on the cover of Cine Blades, I was on the cover of Film Fair." i was on the cover of all the top bollywood magazines fhm okay back to back i started signing bollywood films and that is when they paid the board of directors of winsor 
used the political clout, pressurized my sister, made her pay a penalty of 5,000 and write a letter that everybody can enter the Vinsa apartment besides my younger sister, Pooja Mishra. Why? Because I'm signing Bollywood films. These people can't see me get famous. These people can't see me answer my calling. Please tell me guys, I have been in the entertainment industry from the age of 16. I started off as a model. Then I went on to become an anchor. Then I did theater acting with Alec Padamsi. I did plays. I did reality shows after that. So I have literally dabbled in every sphere. Okay. They can't see me act. They can't see me be a Bollywood heroine. Wrecked my career. So what are we talking about? These people can't see me answer my calling. What else do I do? I don't know anything else which I can pursue as a career. This is all I know how to do. To act, to anchor, to be a part of reality shows, to write, to dance, to sing, to perform. These are all my, you know, talents. For how long are they going to bottle it up in Pune? So way back in 2014, when I was doing really well for myself, these people used their political clout, pressurized my NRI sister to ban me from my family apartment so that I don't have a place to stay in Mumbai. Okay. Now me being the fighter that I am, I didn't give up. I broke all my fixed deposits. I broke all my mutual funds and I used to keep on coming to Mumbai and I used to stay in hotels. Do you know that from 2014 up until 2022, I spent crores on hotels when I have my own beautiful apartment in Mumbai and that too in the hub of entertainment industry that is Lokhanwala and Nandheri West. That's where all the offices are. That's where all the channels are. That's where all the production houses are. That's where all the media houses are. I, I've got an apartment in the hub. But they won't let me stay in my apartment. If this is not an extreme, you know, extreme pursuit of totally Finishing Puja Mishra. I don't know what is. I don't know what is. And today, you know, I want to come back to Bombay. I want to live my life. I want to do things that make me happy. We've got a short life. I'm not going to live forever. You're not going to live forever. None of us are going to live forever. So the short life that God has blessed us with, we should do things that make us happy, right? I want to sing, I want to dance, I want to anchor, I want to act, I want to be a part of reality shows. It makes me happy. It creatively satisfies me. But if that makes a smuggler insecure, and if that makes a politician and his family insecure, should I stop doing it? Is it fair? Is it fair? And I don't even know these people, okay? I don't know this smuggler. He goes around telling everybody that Pooja Mishra is my ex-girlfriend. Excuse me, I've not been on a fucking single date with you, okay? So watch it. I don't even know this politician. He used to be my father's friend. I've never, whenever he used to come to my house, I used to never go and sit with them. Because I used to not like them. He used to drink and, you know, do all these power talks. I wasn't interested. In fact, they used to come to my room. Whenever I used to come to my house in uh, Breach Candy in Belvedere, I still remember he had come to uh, uh, my house for dinner. I was cooped up in my room, locked up. Then he came inside my room. He said, why don't you come out and talk to everybody? I said, no, no, I'm just a little shy. So when I don't know these people, why are they after me? What is the fucking problem? 
Coming to Windsor, let me tell you all over again. So when I used to live in Windsor, I used to live there alone, right? And I was like a lone ranger. I used to not call a single friend over. I used to not have any maids. I used to do all the ghar ka kaam myself, okay? I used to not cook because I don't know how to cook very well. I used to order from outside. And they made my life miserable. I still remember. Once the doorbell rang, I went and I opened it. Seven pizzas, ten garlic breads. I said, what is this? I said, no, Pooja Mishra has ordered this. I said, I have not ordered this. I don't eat such high calorie food. I'm very, you know, uh, diet conscious. And I'm a single girl. How will I eat so much of food myself? I don't call a single friend over. I live alone. No, no, you've ordered it. You'll have to pay for it. So I paid for it. They used to come at four in the morning in Windsor. And they used to ring the bell. When I used to go out, they used to run away. I used to hear giggling sounds. Outside my main door in Windsor, they're written Jimmy Randi. Who is Jimmy? He's Timmy Narang's younger brother. What is this? I don't even know these people. I partied with them two, three times in 1999. That too in a group. And these people are like clutching onto me. It's been so many years. They all are married. They all have kids. But they're not letting me move on in my life. Do you know most psychotic people? How much they used to harass me, my God, when I used to live in Windsor alone. They used to pay the watchman to misbehave with me, to argue with me, to keep tabs on me. Kahan gaye, kitne baje aaye, kisne choda, kaun si gaadi number se utre. Oh my God, if my mother does that, I can understand it for a second. But if the smuggler and the politician do that, I'm aghast. Got nothing better to do in life or what? Go and find somebody else. Leave me the fuck alone. How much they used to harass me in uh, Windsor. And when I used to go to sleep, they used to hit the flush from the apartment upstairs. They used to make a tantric sit there and hit Shamshan ki haddis and do all these kriyas. You know, uh, when you do this havan and all, how they, um, ghanti bajate, they ring that bell, right? So, ghanti bajati rehti thi, char baje subhe. Mein sori hoti thi, upar havan chalte rehti thi. Mujhe khatam karne ke liye. Itna shad yantra karna pada, ek akeli ladki ko khatam karne ke liye. Tab to mein bilkul faulad hoon. Ki itne bade bade dehshi darindho se lad gai akele. It's commendable. These people have money. These people have contacts. These people have power. Yet I was not afraid. I fought alone. I used to call the police when they used to do all these tantric kriyas on me. Do you know that? The police used to go upstairs and say, Darwaza khol ke dikha andar kya chal rai. That's when they started getting very hassled. That this girl has gotten to know what we are doing to her. So let's get her banned from her own house. They used to even mix drugs in my water, which I used to keep in the refrigerator. Do you know that? And uh, Ujwal Trivedi, who's a journalist, has done a YouTube video where he's spoken about how Pooja Mishra was drugged in her own house. They used to drug me in my drinking water because they had the keys to my house. They used to come inside my house and steal my shoes, my clothes, my jewelry, my watches. How did they have the audacity to do so much? Just because I was living alone. If I was married or if I was living with a boyfriend, do you think they would have the guts to do all this to me? No, they wouldn't. Akeli ladki dekhi? To chalo haat maar lo. Behti ganga mein sab nahalo. Right? This is 
what they did to me in Windsor. And people ask me that, Pooja, why don't you come back? Come back to Bombay, rent an apartment and, you know, start afresh. Start a new chapter in your life. But tell me, guys, please tell me. I am so financially wrecked after Abhi to Party Shuru I invested everything I had in that show. Okay? Everything that I had in that show. After that, I'm not financially sound. I need to do a couple of assignments which pay me a lump sum so that I can just pay the deposit and rent for a safe apartment in Mumbai for one year. You know, pay the rent, pay the deposit for one year and aram se live. But even there they will come to harass me, stalk me, hack me, harass me. Delivery boys will come and start hitting me. Remember in Khan how this swiggy delivery boy came and hit me and then he was arrested? Absurd. Totally absurd. What have I not been through? And for what fault of mine? I want to know for what fault of mine was I put through all this. I was just wanting to carve a niche for myself in the entertainment industry. Is it such a big crime? When my father's okay with it, when my mother's okay with it, who in the fuck is a smuggler or a politician to stop me? I want to know. Who the fuck are you? Wannabe pylons who I don't even know. Like I told you, I don't know the smuggler. And like I told you, I don't know the politician. But they're piling on to me. Somebody who's talented, somebody who's glamorous, somebody who's honest. Chalo. Haat marte hai. पूजा मैम आप सबको बताओ कि कैसे इन लोगों ने मेरी आपके साथ लड़ाई करवाई फोन हैक करके और फेक स्क्रीनशॉट्स बना बना के या या दिस इज अ वेरी ओल्ड पॉलिसी ऑफ देयर्स इफ आई मेक अ फ्रेंड इफ आई हैव समबडी हु लव्स मी दे विल क्रिएट अ लॉट ऑफ फाइट्स बिटवीन दैट पर्सन एंड मी बिकॉज़ दे आर जेलस दे कांट सी मी हैव फ्रेंड्स एंड आई एम सो ब्लेस्ड आई लव इंस्टाग्राम बिग किस टू इंस्टाग्राम Instagram has given me a family. Instagram has given me a family which is you people. And I love you all. Like I was telling you, I've got two younger brothers. Arman from Pakistan, Harris from Canada. They take care of me when I'm so depressed and low in Pune. I love you for being there for me. I've got a brother called Arnab from Bangalore. I've got a friend called Shirish from Thane. All these friends I met through Instagram and these people have been there for me and I can't express more gratitude for their understanding and maturity in helping me handle the challenges in my life. I love you guys. You're my life. I love my Instagram family. Okay. Okay. Coming back to now let's talk about colors and endomol, right? So somebody was asking me in the last live that colors and endomol have used your dialogues and have used your viral clips, okay, uh, for promotions of Big Boss 16. And yet they have not invited you on Big Boss 16. Okay, fine. Let's talk about it. First of all, I want to say thank you. I feel very grateful that you liked my viral clip and you used it and you like my dialogues and you used it. Yes, they're very popular all over the world. And uh, I feel very honored and humble that you all felt it worthy enough and used it for your promotions. Okay. Now, as far as not calling me back on Big Boss 16 is concerned, my friend from Paris called up this guy in Endomall on a conference call. Okay. And he got the news that a girl has been signed up, okay, for Big Boss, who's literally being trained to be my replica, to be my duplicate. 
so they are actually sitting her down and showing her my big boss 5 video clips and teaching her to be like me like i've got certain traits like i'm honest i'm straightforward i'm a lone ranger i fight the biggest of battles alone i am not a cloud chaser right so they're literally making her absorb all these qualities of mine so that she can be Pooja Mishra. And apparently she was also instructed to come on Big Boss 16, kick a dustbin, break a broom and say my dialogues. So that the audience forgets about the original Pooja Mishra and accepts this troll, this replica as the new Pooja Mishra. So when my friend from Paris called me up and told me this, my head was reeling. This was, I still remember I was standing in my kaftan in the Pune living room, talking on the mobile, you know, because my mother was in the bedroom and if I would talk there, then she'd scream at me because she doesn't let me talk to my friends. And when he told me this, my head was reeling. I thought I'd fall down, I'd faint. On one side, I'm saying sorry a million times. And on one side, my Paris friend is telling me, the end of all executives don't like you. The colors executives don't like you. And they will never bring you back on the show because of that. Now, please tell me, what can I do about that? I've apologized to them a million times. Okay. I was under the influence of black magic. I wasn't in my senses when I said anything hurtful or nasty. All right. And I'm not that person anymore. I'm a different person today. So if you can't be neutral enough to choose between the politician's daughter and me, then I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't want to come on your show. I don't want to come on Big Boss 16. If you can't be neutral. Okay. And I love Salman Khan a lot. And it was my ultimate dream to share the frame with him on Big Boss 16. It was my dream. But it's not going to happen. So it's okay. It's all right. Life goes on, right? Life goes on. And it's going on. Shilpa Parulekar says, Ye sab bheje ve puthus hai. Simply being 15 says that they will pick the politician's daughter if you're pitted against her because she has them under their wraps. Okay, fine. Suit yourself. I'll find somebody who has better taste than you. Okay, I'll find somebody who has better taste than you, who realizes how much have I been put through, irrespective of me being so harmless. All right, and let's move on. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I rest my case. Sambal Arai hai Big Boss 16 mein. Yeah, that's another thing that I want to talk about. So as you all know, there was a crazy stalker, 50-year-old lesbian stalker who was left after me from the past year and a half or so with the name Sambal Rizvi from Pakistan by Shatrugan Sinha, the politician and his family. And she has done all kinds of nasty things, defame me, concocted cock and bull stories, fabricated fake Aadhaar cards and what not. All right. And Shatrugan Sinha and his family want to make her famous. So in Big Boss 16, they're getting a contestant with the same name. 
and it's such a fucked up mind game. All my friends from all over the world are telling me it's the sinners who are doing this, you know. They are close to the Endemol people and they are only doing this. I said, yes, highly possible. These people are sick in the head, sick in the brain. They want to make clones out of you so that they can make her a worldwide sensation and take away cameos also from you. See, they can try whatever they want to try. There's only one Pooja Mishra, okay? And as far as my innocence and my clean-heartedness goes, I really suspect if in the entertainment industry there's anybody like me because whatever's in my heart is on my tongue. Nobody is so honest here. Everybody here has got hidden agendas, is very scheming. Can you imagine? I mean, when I heard that they're training this girl to be Pooja Mishra, I was like, Endemol can't do this. Colors can't do this. Salman Khan doesn't have time to do this. This is 100% Shatrugan Sena. Because it's only a politician who can be so crafty, so conniving. So conspiring. Because in entertainment industry, people are competitive. Indeed they are. But they don't want to finish someone off so brutally. Right? So now you know who's doing this. Oh, by the way. Oh, by the way. Talking about Big Boss 16. Did you all see? Colors had posted my video clip. And they had uh, written... That sabse bada khiladi abhi ana baki hai. The moment they posted this, Shatrugan Sena and Sonakshi Sena went around the press writing articles that anybody can be called in Big Boss except Pooja Mishra, but we can have a replica of Pooja Mishra. I would even posted that article in my Instagram stories. So they got so threatened and so insecure just because colors from the official uh, Instagram handle posted that Sabse bar, Bada Khiladi Abhi Aana Baki Hai, they started getting articles written that Pooja Mishra can't come back in Big Boss 16. 100% they had done it. They have been using the media who they pay. Okay? Half of the media is on their payroll, monthly payroll. The PR company is Universal, which is handling some of the biggest Bollywood films. So they want to use that power, that power of media, which can brainwash people, right? And get it written everywhere that, oh, don't uh, get fooled just because Colors is posting a video clip. She's never going to come back on Big Boss 16. That is the height, the height of insecurity, height of being power hungry. Are kahi situation mere haath se bahar na nikal jaye. To jaldi jaldi articles chapwao ki puja mishra ko kahi wapas na le le big boss mein. Had kar dete hai ye loh. They really surpass all limits and the moment some of my loyal followers saw that article they started DMing me 100% this article has been planted by Chatrugan Sena and his family everybody was DMing me don't get offended Pooja they're just jealous and insecure that why did colors say that about you why did colors post your viral clip I was like, my God, this is ridiculous. These people want to control me and my career as though, as though they own me. And I don't even know these people. Like I told you, I don't know these people. Just because somebody 
somebody who's my father's friend, okay, doesn't mean that they can exercise so much of control on my life. I'm a bloody independent rebel. I've rebelled against my father. I've rebelled against my mother. So who the fuck are you? Itta control me apne aapne apne parents ko nahi rakhne deti hu. Aap log ho kon? Samajhte kya apne aap ko? Pooja Mishra ko ek khilwana bana ki khilwaar kar rahe ho? Sumrit Shahi says, Pooja, I love the mall. Yeah, me too. I love it. I love it. I want to kiss here. Who's going to kiss me on the mall? Who's going to give me a kissy on the mall? I want to kiss on my mall. <laughs> Simply being 15 says, they want to make you completely financially handicapped. 100% darling. 100%. That's another thing I want to talk about. Okay. I was listening to Pooja Bedi's old interview because a friend of mine, Jarnail, had sent it to me. So she was talking about a divorce. She was talking about an alimony. And she was talking about how she used to write for midday. There also, she was at least earning 4,000 rupees per month. Here, I've been writing for perfect woman for months after months. I've been writing for mypencil.com Months after months, I don't sleep at night when I'm writing an article. I'm so passionate. And my chain of thoughts, you know, is so spontaneous that when I'm getting the thoughts, I have to finish the article. So all night I'm awake sitting on the laptop writing the article. And they don't pay me a penny. Perfect woman doesn't pay me a penny. Mypencil.com doesn't pay me a penny. Why? Why am I being made to work so hard and nobody pays me any money? For how long will I have to keep on doing charity? For how long will I have to keep on working so hard for gratis? All my Instagram family, when I tell them, they're saying, why don't you have iPhone 14? Why don't you live in Bombay? They don't let me earn money. They make me work so hard. Spine breaking hard work. Spine breaking hard work. Yet you will not earn a penny. Because the politician and the smuggler are sitting in the middle to loot me. They have extorted me. They have looted me. Like I was telling you in the last slide. They saw pretty looking girl. Generous with money independent, wants to cover a niche for herself, come on, let's con her. Let's fool her. Let's loot her. Made me break all my fixed deposits, all my mutual funds, even my life insurance. Because they were so insecure, if I have money, I can bring about a change. That's why money is not everything. But money is critical. Because when you have money, you can change circumstances. You can change situations. Right? So that's what it is. That's what it is. By purpose, they looted me. By purpose, they extorted crawls out of me from 2014 up until 2022. I'm staying in hotels, spending pissing money when I have a home here. So you see for yourself, this is how they have literally drop by drop robbed me of everything. Sagar Castic says, it could all be Narang's doing, which you have been overlooking for a long time. I agree. I agree. I've been overlooking Narang's for 
quite a long time, but now I named them. I'm calling us. I'm calling them out. Smugglers. Smugglers looted me. Smugglers drugged and raped me. And blamed Salman Khan and his brothers. So did the politician. I'm calling them out. Simply being 15 says, politician is mighty jealous of you that you might steal the limelight from him and his daughter. That's evident. That's evident. When my father doesn't have a problem with me pursuing a career in the entertainment industry, my mother doesn't have a problem with me pursuing a, a career in the entertainment industry, who the fuck is this guy who I don't even know? Who, when he comes to my house for dinner, I don't even go out and greet. Who's causing so many roadblocks between me and my goals. Do I even know you? I don't even know you. And I don't want to. I don't want 